case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2001, the United States District Court for the Eastern District of Pennsylvania heard Gower v. Savage Arms, Inc., which examined the concept of successor liability in cases involving defective products. John and Deborah Gower sued Savage Arms and Savage Sports after John Gower was injured by a faulty hunting rifle with a detent defect and other manufacturing issues. The incident occurred in 1997, when John's gun discharged as he was attempting to unload it during a hunting trip with his family. The court ruled on several claims, granting the defendant's motion for summary judgment on negligence, breach of warranty, and other claims. This left the plaintiffs with only the product line exception as their remaining claim, and those against Savage Arms were dismissed. Under this exception, a company acquiring another company's assets and continuing to use the same product line, name, and goodwill may be held liable for injuries caused by defective products made by the predecessor company. Ultimately, the court denied the defendant's motion for summary judgment on successor liability and strict liability claims for the detent defect and manufacturing defect, as well as Deborah Gower's loss of consortium claim. However, the court granted the defendant's motion for summary judgment regarding punitive damages, insufficient warnings, misrepresentation, breach of warranty, and all negligence claims. The final decision on Deborah Gower's loss of consortium claim was postponed until a ruling is made on the admissibility of plaintiff's expert testimony. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lsd.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.